Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to migrate your data from your, from your standard hard drive to SSD drive. A lot of users have a problem when they upgrade to a SSD or a new hard drive. How do you migrate your data? But uh, using the software that Kingston has provided us, it's very easy to clone your existing hard drive to a SSD. The only thing you need to make sure is that your data on your primary hard drive is less than the capacity of your SSD. For example, in this demo, uh, we are using a 96 GB SSD. So we have to just make sure that our primary data on our primary hard drive is less than 96 GB. I have already installed the SSD. Now I'm going to show you basically how to migrate the data using the software supplied on this disk. And the software CD that we got with this is inserted in the DVD RAM drive and we're going to clone our hard drive and to do the same I need to boot it with the CD-ROM drive and I'm going to boot it and it's going to load the Acronis True image uh, cloning software that comes with this Kingston SSD. I'm going to select English and this will help us to clone our drive. You have to make one thing very sure that your original hard drive space is less than the SSD capacity. For me, uh, my hard drive capacity was just about 45 GB and this SSD is 96 GB, so that's okay. So if you have more data on your primary hard drive, remove that before cloning it. Now I'm going to use this, uh, let me zoom in so you get a better idea. Uh, now I'm going to use this clone disk option and we're going to select the automatic mode. Our source uh, disk is this uh, 80, uh, 80 GB hard drive. I select the source and we click next. Now it says us to select the target disk and our target disk is uh, basically our Kingston SSD. We select that and click next. We're going to click OK because I know there's nothing important on that Kingston, Kingston SSD. And now finally we click this actually proceed button and as you can see now it's copying all the data from our primary hard drive to our SSD. So now the cloning has been done it took about 10 minutes for us to do. Now we can actually if you like we can just remove the old hard drive and our system should boot properly with the new SSD drive. I'm going to shut down the software and remove the old hard drive and we're going to reboot the system. Now I have removed the standard hard drive and just the SSD is installed and Windows 7 should boot with the SSD. And as you can see Windows 7 is now booting properly with the Kingston SSD. So by using this Kingston SSD software see how easy it was to clone your hard drive to the SSD. So that's it for now. This was Ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.